hello thank you for joining me on this thrifting trip i want to show you some of the items that i found at goodwill and also at deseret industries which is the di i'm here at goodwill and i want to show you some of these cute mugs like this santa one i thought was adorable and this little ghost one they had a lot of good items here at goodwill i didn't purchase anything but i did want to show you what i found at the end of the video, I am going to show you a collective haul of everything I found on several trips to the thrift store. And I am so excited to share with you guys the best Christmas item I have ever found at the thrift store. This turkey platter was really nice and big. I didn't notice that it had any chips on it. I wish i would have brought this home because i love the color of it it's like an off-white color i didn't purchase it because i already have several of these big plates for my turkey for thanksgiving so i left it behind but i thought it was beautiful I have never seen a Santa like this one. I thought it was adorable with the little gingerbreads on the sombrero. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. I had to share the two adorable snowmen. They were so cute and such a great size. I'm at Deseret Industries now. I know a lot of you ask me what the DI stands for and that's just the name of the store. It stands for Deseret Industries, but we call it DI for short. And a lot of the items here, you guys, are always priced a lot cheaper than going to other thrift stores. Um, we also have Goodwill and Savers. Those are the only two other thrift stores that I know of. Oh, and I know that we have a Goodwill outlet, like the Goodwill bins, which I actually went to. <laughs> and all they had at mine, you guys, was clothes. I don't know if maybe I just went on the wrong day, but... I wasn't too impressed with the Goodwill outlet. I think I'm going to give it another try and see if maybe if I go during the week, um, if I have any luck. But when I went, it was all clothes and there was like one bin of books. So I didn't purchase anything, but we do have the Goodwill bins here as well. This DI had so many Christmas items. You had to dig through all of the items to see what was on the bottom. But you guys, I found this beautiful, I don't know, like little soldier girl. I thought she was adorable. I went back and looked at her so many times. I almost brought her home, but I didn't. I left her behind, but look how adorable she is. Like if you would wind her up, she would start moving. Like her head would move. Um... I just thought it was cute she's kind of like a little um shelf sitter she did look antique to me i don't know like it didn't have any um tags on it or anything it was actually in that plastic bag and i did put her back in the bag so somebody could take her home <laughs> and she wouldn't get all messed up so i left her but i thought she was adorable
from this Hobby Lobby sleigh. I actually have it so I know it's from Hobby Lobby and I can identify the Hobby Lobby tags right away. <laughs> so it was only one dollar. I thought it was great. You can always take off the stickers or paint it and you guys this little shovel was adorable i kind of wish i would have picked it up i just think it's so unique i just love the size of it but it was two dollars no three dollars <laughs> i thought it was so cute I thought this Santa was beautiful. It was a wind-up one, so it would rock back and forth. They also have these beautiful planters. I thought this one was beautiful, and I think this one's more of a vase, but that first one was from Home Goods, and this one looks like it's from Michael's. I thought they were both really nice. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the best item that I found at the thrift store at the beginning and then I have another best one at the end that I want to show you guys that I have never ever seen at the thrift store before so I'm so excited to show you guys what I found one good thing about the DI is that they have Christmas decorations out all year long and you guys when I got there and I saw this little baby <laughs> you guys will see what I'm talking about I was so excited I picked it up I kept walking around and then I found another one and then I went out to the yard area and they had the big one. Let me show you guys. I found this a little gingerbread. It's a sugar set. I think this is so adorable. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. When I saw it, <laughs> I got it right away. This one was $1.50. So, so cute. And then I found the salt and pepper shakers how adorable are these guys it's the matching set they're so cute these were 75 cents how cute how cute how cute you can see the top it's this one's the salt the pepper i don't know which one's which this one has the three holes this one has the two holes i don't know i don't know how to tell which one's which but you guys, before I show you guys the big one, I went, I want to say it was a few days later to that same thrift store. You're not going to believe what I found. I found the set. I found this guy. <laughs> and I almost didn't pick him up because he kind of looks a little weird. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like his body's going this way. I don't know. But when I saw his nose, I was like, wait a minute that's the um the creamer for my sugar set and it is i was so surprised that i found it days later at that same thrift store but look you guys have to let me know what you think but i think it's the matching set look at the scarf the little nose the nose is what um makes me believe that it's the set so I was so excited and this was a dollar or a dollar fifty so I couldn't leave it behind it's so cute then you guys I found the big one can you guys believe I found a cookie jar oh my gosh when I saw this I was so excited you guys know that I have like a little collection of cookie jars and I do not have this one and this is like in perfect condition um the only thing is that the lid is kind of like I don't know wobbly on here it doesn't have like the clear seal but i don't think any of my other ones do either so that doesn't really matter to me but it is a little bit like it moves around too much but it's not like it's going to be moving on the counter or anything like that but this was two dollars two dollars <laughs> i was so excited i think the cheapest gingerbread canister that i have was maybe 12 or 15 dollars one that i bought at home goods so for the whole set i think i paid about five dollars 
And you guys, I'm so happy that I found the entire set. Oh, this guy is the cutest. I, I just love him so much. He's such a big size and he is like brand new. Like the inside is perfect. It doesn't have any of those cracking lines. Um, it doesn't say who makes them either. It just says microwave safe. Oh, it says LTD commodities llc so i have never seen this one in stores um so i was really excited about it i think it's adorable and i like that it's the entire set somebody just went and dropped it off and it was just waiting for me it was waiting for me this guy was out in the yard um area so i was just excited that he was out there and wasn't broken um i just love him He's, he's just adorable. My last thrift video, I told you I wanted to start looking for ironstone pieces. And you guys, I found this little picture. This was $1. And on the bottom, this one does say ironstone on it. And you guys, they had the plates there. I should have bought them of this same brand, the Franciscan ironstone they had the plates and i should have just got them they were like the little maybe like the dessert plates but i thought this was really cute and i, I also like bought it. these mugs right here i think these are beautiful when i see these at the thrift store i always think they are ironstone i don't really know like i told you guys in my last video i don't know how to identify it it does have like this on the bottom of it both of them do. These were 75 cents. They had one more, but the other one in the inside, it looked not like cracking, but it looked, I don't know, like very used. So I didn't bring the other one home. So I got these two and actually I thought I had bought some of these before, but I, I don't know if I actually bought them or not because I can't find them. So I just bought these two. I think they're really cute. I kind of always see these and I never buy them. But I don't know. I kind of want to make like a little... I want to buy a like a mug rack and hang them from here. Like those metal ones that you can put on the counter. And I kind of want to have like a little collection of these. So I don't know. Hopefully I can find some. I also some found these angel candle holders. These are in perfect condition. This um, cost me $1.50 and I did find this set. And you guys want to know something? I went to the DI yesterday and they had the, <laughs> the set of these there too, which I thought it was incredible to find the same set at a totally different location, not even close to the one where I found these. So I thought that was pretty cool. I almost bought them, but I'm like, what do I want four of them for? But they were $1.50 there too, so maybe I should have just got them. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just love shopping at the thrift store. Like, oh, you find so many good things. But look how beautiful these are. So I already washed everything because I want you guys to see how beautiful they are. When I got them, they were a little bit like foggy, like dirty and stuff. But man, once you wash them, they are like brand new. So I'm really excited about them. Look how cute this little guy is. Look at his face. Oh my gosh. So, so cute. So cute. This next item, I don't know what called me to it, but I think it's beautiful. <laughs> it looks a little old. And I think it is because it was like one of those old cologne bottles. But it's this horse face. And if you take off the lid, the lid is really damaged. You can see it's like lifting from there this cost me <laughs> two dollars i still have the price on the bottom it actually says the name of the cologne maybe it says wild mustang pipe deep woods cologne i don't know this was two bucks which is kind of expensive right <laughs> two dollars but i don't know it smells like those colognes i used to have some like this but um, like where they were like sh in the shape of cars. I wish I still had them back in the day when I was like young. <laughs> um, 
I remember my parents used to have a lot of them and nobody would really use the cologne. It was just kind of not, I don't want to say decor because my um, parents never really decorated their home, but it was just like, just there <laughs> at the house. But I wish I had them, but I'm pretty sure those are long gone. But I just thought this little horse is adorable. Look how cute. Look at this side. <laughs> I don't know. Would you guys have picked this up? <laughs> I don't know. I really love him. I think he's so cute. I'm going to put him inside of my hutch over here. <laughs> I think he's really cute. This next item, I honestly don't know why I purchased it because once you guys see everything that I purchased at Hobby Lobby last year, at 90% off, you're going to be like, why did you spend a dollar <laughs> on this gingerbread house? It's cute and all, but after I bought it, I was just like, why did I even buy this? Like, I don't know. I thought a dollar was a little pricey, but it was gingerbread and I got carried away, sucked into the gingerbread like I usually do. <laughs> so I bought it anyways. But you guys, oh, I'm excited to show you guys everything that I bought at 90% off. I'm going to start showing you guys Christmas videos this year starting October. So hopefully you guys stay tuned till then. But I'm going to start with that video of the haul, my haul video. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Oh my gosh. I know a lot of you guys who I talk to, um, <laughs> we talk about Christmas all the time. You guys are the best. I love you guys. <laughs> you guys are my Christmas buddies. So if you're going to start decorating in October like my other friends are, <laughs> leave me a comment down below. <laughs> I would love to know, which sounds crazy, but it takes me forever, you guys, to put up my Christmas decoration. So I'm going to start early. But look how beautiful this little, what is this called? Like, um, oh my gosh, I'm not going to remember now for making jokes over here <laughs> of me decorating early for christmas but um like a little dome and it's like a cut glass crystal i couldn't leave this behind look how beautiful this is and i think this was a dollar or a dollar fifty i usually take off the tags because i wash everything i want you guys to see how beautiful everything looks so this is like brand new and it's not like I can find something at the store for a dollar fifty, and this will look great in my hutch as well. So I've been trying to look for stuff for my hutch, and I thought this would be perfect. This was another impulse buy. <laughs> I don't know why I bought this, you guys. This was a dollar. <laughs> I just thought it was nice, but it's really small, so I don't know like what I'm gonna do with it. But it's cute, right? <laughs> for a dollar, I think it's kind of too much but one thing i've noticed you guys is that the prices at the di are going slightly higher um i know a lot of you say that the prices are like so cheap already but i'm just kind of used to it like a lot of the things being a dollar so now that the prices are like three four dollars i'm like oh wow it's like a little expensive but it's not even that bad but i have noticed that the prices are going up on some things but this was a dollar I found this candle holder for one dollar. I don't know if this is brass, you guys. I want to say it's antique. It's older, um, just because of the tag that ha that it has back here. This was one dollar. You can see the price right there. But I only found one of them. I was looking for the other one in the store when I was there, but I didn't find it. But I brought it anyways because I thought that maybe sometime in the future I'll find the pair so I can have both of them and even if I don't find it at the thrift store maybe I'll find it in a, at an antique store so if I find it at the antique store and it's like maybe 20 bucks or something that wouldn't be bad because for both of them I would have paid like 21 so I thought this would be nice if I find it one day because you know how sometimes well like the gingerbread I found the whole set except for the creamer all in one day and then I went several days later and I found the creamer so you never know you might find it again so I was excited for this so for one dollar I don't know if it's brass or not I just think it's beautiful in my last video I showed you guys that I found 
a pheasant frame and you guys i found these a pheasant prints i found this one right here let me get it really close so i found this one which i thought was beautiful i think this one would be really nice even for christmas i don't know if i'm gonna use it for christmas i, I don't think i am but i think it's just really nice um and it comes in like this matted like thing i don't really like it i want to find a gold frame for them but i do want to show you guys how beautiful they are and you guys i tried to take this off and i don't know what <laughs> if it came from a book or something i don't know because you can see the little print right here <laughs> so this was two dollars i still think it's beautiful I don't know how I'm going to take it off of here because it looks like they glued it to here. So maybe I'll have to cut the foam out to put it in a frame. But you guys, I really want like an ornate gold frame. And I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and they have some, but they're kind of expensive. But if I think about it, um, if I was to try and find one of those at the antique store, maybe they would be like $200 or something crazy. And right now, Hobby Lobby does have one of the gold frames. It's like the bigger size. I don't know what size it is, honestly, but um, they have it for $47 on clearance. And I've gone to two Hobby Lobbies and the that, that gold frame has been on sale. So if you're looking for like a gold or an eight frame, they have them on sale right now. I think it's actually on clearance um, because they go for like 100 200 they're the big ones. So if you're in the market for one, check out Hobby Lobby. It has that orange sticker on them. So I want to say they're on clearance. But they don't have any of the small ones. And you guys, I'm kicking myself because I went to Hobby Lobby. And they had like the smaller ones that could have probably fit this. But that day, I had bought some stuff. And I was like, I'm already spending too much. Didn't buy them. And then I went back to buy them because, you know... I'm crazy and they were gone and I know you guys tell me all the time if you see it buy it but that day I was like I shouldn't buy them because I've been spending too much I should have bought them because I went back and they were gone so it was kind of pointless but yeah this is the next one you guys isn't this beautiful I want to say they're probably more like winter ones don't you guys think let me see if I can get them both in the in the frame they're nice right they're so beautiful they were two dollars each i wish they would have came in a frame already but that's okay i can find one for them this next item i found it i believe in the beginning of the year maybe like january or february and i totally forgot about it i've had it in my office because i want to paint it and i just haven't gone into it because I don't want to paint it by hand. I think it would be too much work. I want to paint it with my sprayer. But even with the sprayer, I'm like, oh, it's going to take me too long. So I haven't done it. But I love this piece. It was $8. And I'm so happy that I found it. Because I was actually thinking of making one this year. But when I found it for $8, not even the wood would have cost me $8. And not only that, but the time I would have spent making it and all of that. And you guys know how expensive wood is right now. So I'm so excited that I found it for so cheap for $8. And it's a huge, huge, huge. One thing is that I think I'm going to have to cut the sides. Because it's not fitting on the wall where I want to put it. So I think I'm going to have to trim it just a little bit. Maybe like half an inch or something from each side, top and bottom. Because of the way it's built. But I just think it's beautiful. I can't decide though if I want to paint it black or if I want to paint it white. I'm kind of leaning more towards black because I don't have anything that's black like that. I, I feel like all of my cubbies, anything that I have like that is from Hobby Lobby and it's like a natural wood color. So I'm kind of leaning more towards painting it black. And besides, I have black paint and I don't have white paint right now, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to commit to it being so dark, but I feel like and if I put like 
small small little items in there that they'll pop as well i don't know leave me a comment down below what you guys think if i should paint it black or white besties this is the last item i was so excited when i saw it i could not believe that i saw it there because i have never ever seen <laughs> anything at the di even close to this it was in the collectibles again and it was fifty dollars which is kind of a lot for the <laughs> di but you guys, this at uh, an antique store will cost about 160 or more. When I saw it for $50, I got so excited because I was actually on Amazon the other day looking at them. And they were around $50 and they were small ones. And this one is actually like a used one, which I think is even better. It's not like I'm going to go, <laughs> what is this? What are these called? I always call them skis, but um, snowshoes. And they even have like the leather part right here. I think they're beautiful. I'm not gonna go out in the snow <laughs> and, and use them, but I am gonna use them for decor. I just think they're gonna look great with my red um, sled. What do you guys think? For $50, these antique snowshoes how great are these you guys i'm so excited and i love that it has the leather strap already I feel like one of them is different than the other you can tell that this one has this part wrapped around it and this one doesn't and then um when i separated them i feel like even the color of the snowshoe is different so i don't know but that doesn't matter to me they're both the same size and for 50 dollars, ouch my finger you can see the price right there, $50. When I saw it in the collectibles area, you know how they have everything locked up in there? Um, I asked the guy that was in the back in the collectibles if I could see them. And they were kind of in back of like this box. So I was afraid that they had already been sold. So every time you look at the collectibles area, they'll give you that little paper that says sold no they put a paper on on here that says sold and they'll give you like another paper to go pay up at the front and i couldn't see if it had that sold paper on them so i was like oh they're probably already sold and they weren't i was like oh my gosh I, yes i want them i told the guy <laughs> keep them for me i'm gonna run to the front and pay for them and i did because i was like so excited i couldn't even wait so you guys i got myself some new snowshoes how beautiful are these? They're so big. Look how big they are, you guys. They barely fit in the camera. But they're beautiful. I'm so excited about these. Oh my gosh. I, I can't wait for Christmas, honestly. <laughs> That's why we're going to start decorating in October. I'm really excited. And all that, that I purchased to show you guys on this video. I do want to tell you guys, though, that I didn't find all of these things in one store like i go several times to the thrift store and just collect things and then show you guys i did find the gingerbread though all in one trip except for the creamer but everything else was like on separate trips i i'm not that lucky <laughs> to find things all in one thrift store but it's worth it to me it's a lot of fun it's distracting it's affordable like i told you guys <laughs> maybe not the skis because they were 50 dollars but even if it, if you go anywhere you guys you're gonna pay so much more than the thrift store prices so i really enjoy thrifting i just love going and not knowing what you're gonna find but i am on the lookout for some ornate frames some gold ones i wish i could find some some gold like oval or round ones that would be really nice but I've never seen anything like that at the thrift store. So who knows? Maybe one day I'll find them. But I want to thank you all so much for being here on my channel and for watching my video. I do have another video of the thrift store that I'm going to be recording next. So keep an eye out next week for that one. But I want to say thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye besties.